For this fifth simulation, we will incorporate two other um, functionalities. And one is that we will pause the simulation periodically at a predetermined uh, interval. First, let's choose a one-day duration of deliveries, and we will generate 250 orders in that one-day time. This program has 15 trucks um, hardwired into it, which is going to be an insufficient amount of trucks for 250 orders in a 24-hour time period. Regardless, I'm doing this for a reason which will become apparent later on, uh, particularly in the, the next simulation. Anyway, what we will do is we will pause every 50 orders to see the state of the simulation at that particular time. So every one-fifth of the time that the orders are generated, that the 250 orders are generated, it will pause. And we will allow dispatch alerts to occur. If you can recall, during the first simulation I said that this can be used as an operational front end, besides being a simulation, um, when it is indeed incorporated in the real-life scenario with the trucks being sent out. So this will demonstrate how it can be an operational front end. Okay, that said, what I'm going to do is run the project, again, with a pause for every 50 orders, and we will allow the dispatch alerts. Okay, we'll run the project. Now, it's showing to dispatch a truck to region... F7. You can see region F7 has one order generated, and I will affirm that. Region F10 is, is telling the dispatcher to dispatch a truck to region F10. Okay to that. Region B2, okay to that. G1, region B9. Okay, there's nothing really remarkable about this, but you can see now truck 3 is home, and that should have been B2 does not have any outstanding orders. So it's giving a more granular visualization to the uh, orders being delivered. Okay, 10, B11, C11. Okay, nothing really remarkable going on except showing that we are affirming and dispatching a truck to these regions. Now, please realize that a truck is being dispatched to a region as soon as one singular order is being generated by the region, which is probably not the strategy that we want to pursue. Again, we will look at this further detail in the next simulation. Now, so we don't take up time and... Now, look, we have 13 trucks already dispatched, used... Uh, it looks like we're going to reach now 48, 48, 49 orders. At the 50th order, we should have a a um, a pause, which we do. Okay, we ask for it to pause every 50 orders. There have been 50 orders called in. 4.8 simulate simulate hours have passed. Okay, we ask to pause 50 orders. It has paused at 50 orders. And it says that 4.8 simulated hours have passed. If you divide 24 hours by 5, that is indeed 4.8 hours. So, what this is doing is it is um, generating orders uh, precisely in a regimented, regimented order uh, per the time that has passed during the, the day. Okay, so the simulated time, it started at... 129-1835, and the simulated time is 1037. Okay, now we're just going to go through this rather quickly. I'm going to just keep on hitting the enter button, acknowledging the, um, the dispatch alerts until we get to 100. Uh, I, passed, uh, I passed the acknowledgement, the, um, the pause. I... But we will pause it at 150 orders. And 150 orders. Okay. 
It has paused. It would have been the third time if I didn't bypass the second time. 150 hours called in. 14.4 simulators ha- simulated hours have passed. The current simulated time is this. So it gives an overview of what the status of the regions are, um, either for a simulation. This would be primarily for a simulation. So we can pause and look at it uh, for whatever reasons we want, for whatever reasons we want to. Okay. Now I'm just going to go through the rest of them. Get it. I'm going to keep on acknowledging the dispatch alerts, which we won't see because I, I'm acknowledging them uh, by hitting the enter key. We've used 13 trucks. Okay. Well, I expected to use all 15 trucks, but we did not. Okay. It's going to stop at 250 orders. It's going to stop at 250 orders. It ran for one day and two minutes. The two minutes was the processing time. We have some trucks in, um, out still dispatched, dispatched. One to region E2. As we can see, there's an order outstanding in E2. Remember that prior I had made these those regions to the bottom left zero population, which it still has. That's why those regions have not generated any orders. And all we'll do right now is go to report dashboard, go to the settings report, and show that we are allowing the dispatch alerts. Um, and um, that's all that is remarkable for this particular simulation. And thank you for watching simulation number four.